Thank you very much. Actually, I'd like a quick round of applause for them for volunteering. Thank you. So, what's going to happen now? Akshay is going to add a file, a cat picture, to his IPFS repo. And this gentleman, Blake, is going to request it. So, Akshay, could you add this to your IPFS repo, please? Through the medium of unwrapping the file. Ah. <laughs> what have you got? Have you got pure data there? Have you just got a block? That's incredible. So it's lucky. You hold on to that. It's kind of lucky that this cat picture was chunked into a single block. That was very convenient for the purposes of this demo. <laughs> but, you know, chunking algorithm, we can set the block, block size large. And it turns out that when you added it, very curious, but the hash came out as QM cat. Yeah. That <laughs> is a complete coincidence. <laughs> so you now have a block in your block store. You can say, there you go, there's your block store. And it's, it's got a CID. Yeah. Very exciting. You guys, QMK, you guys are peers connected via the LibPDP in a swarm. You, you've heard about QMK. You love that picture. I love that picture. You want that picture. <laughs> you want that picture. I want that now. All right. Can you send, see, this, this little thing, this is a manifestation of his desire. This is a this is a want list message. It's kind of underwhelming, actually. I know. <laughs> I have a big desire. Because want list messages thing. are pretty small. But what you should do is you should, uh, you should throw that at Akshay. Amazing, Akshay, what does it say on it? He wants QMCAT. Do you, do you have QMCAT? <laughs> I think so. You should totally send it to him. Can you throw QMCAT to him? Yep. Now, obviously, you still have QMCAT because of computers. <laughs> Incredible. Hey, what you got there? I'm completely I feel myself. Right, right, right. So you got some data from the network. How do you know what it is? Oh, amazing. Job done. <laughs> so we just saw a block get traded. There was a want list and a block came back. A demo almost so trivial that it feels like a bit of a waste of your time. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe I left out some key details for the purposes of education. So you received a block from the network, but it didn't come with a CID. Uh-oh. Because would you, would you trust a random stranger on the internet to tell you what a thing was called? Yes. You would, I know. <laughs> you, you, you would, yeah, sure. But do you think we should write software that just trusts data that comes in? No. no. So what you got from, from actually was a block It didn't have this big old CID on it. You'll notice the attention to detail here. This CID is on a large card. What you got, what actually actually sent to you, let's rewind. So you have a block in your block store with a CID, mm -hmm. very cool. When you make your copy of it and send it as a bit swap blocks message, what you put on it is not the CID, but the recipe by which you can construct the CID. Ooh. Now notice that the recipe is smaller than the CID as well. So A, you sh if I send you a CID, you shouldn't trust it. And B, if you shouldn't trust it, why send it at all? So what you're gonna send is doo -doo -doo, the data. Oh. With the recipe. Data with the recipe. Let's go. I can send you one list. We can assume that. And you caught it. Now what are you going to do? You've got a recipe and a block. I got to do math. You got to do math. <laughs> <laughs> but what you're going to do is really important math. You're going to use the recipe, which includes the multi-hash uh, header, to tell you which hashing function to use and what hashing function length you're expecting. I prefer Blake to. Sure, sure, sure. That's not what you got. And it isn't what you asked for. Because you asked for a CID, which included the expected hashing function that would have been used. Right. So, sorry about it. Ask Blake to you next time. Yeah. Uh, so, you're going to hash the incoming data. You're going to discover, by given the recipe, that it is in fact QMCAT. And then there's one last step that you do, which is, okay, I have independently verified the, the data that has arrived. I, I've derived the CID. I didn't trust your CID. No offense. Just got to check. Mm -hmm. And then there's one more step. You had a want list. You sent it out. So da, 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 da. this message got sent, you received it. And I mean, the message is dead now, it's been eaten. But in your head, you're still like, I'm still waiting for QMCAT. Yes, I am. When's waiting. that going to come? Yeah. You just hashed this block and it said, it's QMCAT. And you're like, I was waiting for QMCAT. That's totally rad. And then you stick it in your three punk, which can be like under your t-shirt. There we go. <laughs> Should that have come through with a CID that you weren't expecting, you might have dropped it on the floor. So uh, as an example, You've got this, I've got this, we've got those, you've got one. I come on the network and I say, hey guys, let's connect. 
And I said, hey, 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 can I have QM cat? And what do you guys do? <laughs> so I'm like, oh, thanks, guys. So I take the recipe, I hash it, I discover it's QM cat, I look at my one list, I say, yes, finally, I have QM cat. And then this one comes in, and I'm like, oh my god, recipe, hash it, this Q, this QM cat. Huh. So in, in BitSwap land, that's essentially what happens. If you get a block that you've already received, or basically if it's no longer on your want list, you drop it on the floor. That way, people can't just send you blocks and have you store them. That would be bad. Uh, so there's one last theoretical scenario that could happen. What if I send out my want list? But it's for, it's for QM dog. Do you have it? I do not. Maybe. Yeah. You have to send a request. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, there you go. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do I do now? Based on what we talked about 10 minutes ago. Start walking from the DHD. Yes. yes. Yeah. So, in the situation that I throw out my want list to all and sundry, I don't get a response pretty quickly. In the background, I'm going to be like, oh, lip P2P, we got a problem. No one's giving me the thing I want. And Lippity B is going to go, don't worry about it, I got this. And then it's going to walk around, it's going to say, Q, you want QM cat? Okay, I know about QM Calder. <laughs> QM Calder's going to be like, do you know who can provide this? And Calder's going to be like, no, but I know about QM Kathy. She might know. So then you can, QM Kathy, who can provide this? And she's going to be like, Zach's got this, Zach's got this, Zach's not here, sorry. Theo? Theo's got this. Yes. Uh, and then Theo. <laughs> I connect to you, I send you my want list, <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> and then <laughs> you send me the block. Ta -da! It's okay, Let's, we can imagine this happens. Yes, thank you Theo. Round of applause for Theo for not dropping his helmet. Sorry. Alright, that was the bit swap dance. Hope you're feeling a little fresher, feel free to ask questions.